And he gets sounds weird with this. <laughs> Besides the point, um, back to this. Yeah, part ten also. Merry Christmas. Me and recorded on Christmas Day. I will do the MAS video later, but I want to get at least one part of this done before that point. Um again, but besides that, we're continuing on. Um we've kind of moved past the climax for a Siori's route. Um and yeah, just kind of we we got more backstory on kind of the MC and his side of things, right? Um, some perspectives of our characters. I'm not gonna lie, this is a long ass like finale, or I guess kind of climax to a mod. Like I, I didn't anticipate that this would go on for this long. Um granted, you know, I, I don't want to say it's necessarily a good or bad thing, it's just more of a surprise. Cause it is and I guess kind of my my thoughts on this mod in general, I don't want to say I'm disappointed. I just feel like this was it was a very weird direction and i don't know how to feel about like I, i'm curious to see how the other routes are gonna look like like i'm genuinely curious because i don't think it's just gonna be the same thing for each route and if so that's kind of a waste of time i guess we'll see when we end up going monica's route also yeah we have not seen anything from psionica yet or at least that which my assumption is that it's ashley honestly ashley's probably fucking dead you know she's probably gone um but yeah, we'll see there. Again, I, I'm just, I, I'm genuinely curious as to like, th again, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I, going into it, I assumed it was going to be a normal, like, mod, right? Which is, to be fair, and that, that was the impression that it gave off, right? As well as the description. And it was also something to where it's like, you oh, know, uh, that's partially why I put off, you know, playing it. Because I'm like, all right, it's just going to be normal. There's kind of, and I... I make the joke about like, oh, I only really play story-based mods, which this one definitely is with kind of the backstory they gave the MC. But it's also like, again, kind of the, I guess, issue or potential problem there is like, I mean, again, it's just such an odd direction. And I just don't know how to feel about it. So I guess we need to see, you know, the this guy's also like fucking dying. Like, you know... The the funny thing would be is if like one of these two died, like that actually be pretty fucking hilarious. So this is like a cr craziest, honestly, probably craziest plot to a mod I've ever played. Like I don't think there is a like more uh, what would you call it? Just I don't think there is a crazier plot to like any other mod I've played. Like I can't think of one that has like a more like interesting plot than this. So again, I'm not fucking reading this shit. I'm gonna be honest. So, and again, she's uh resting, right? Because he got, like, a bit to rest, like an hour, you know? Yeah, dude, that's why I'm like, bro, this guy has had his fucking... Okay, no signal, right? Dude, you think a fucking commission phone, like, that they'd have, like, good signal. But I guess, you know, probably don't anticipate this guy just fucking off into the woods, you know? <sighs> Sirens? Well, if they're close enough, buy, right? You know? Dude, imagine they, like, die before they... Re Dude. All right, so this is... Jesus Christ. So, who is it, right? So... Or two... They literally... Oh, my God. They fucking... Dude, fucking code name, bro. Like... Jesus Christ. All right. So, this is just some random person. So, all right. So, again, you know, the, I guess that resolves, you know, or the answer to that question, you know. Uh, 12 bodies, bro. Dude, they're all fucking dead, bro. Like, don't even bother. Like, you know, get bring them to the corner. You know, fucking, they're, they're dead, right? You know, they're gone. I guess, it, dude, this, it, the crazy thing is still, we have zero idea as to why this organization wants Sayori specifically. Like, zero idea. They know who the MC is. But they also seemingly, it's like a John Wick scenario where it's like they know who he is just out of his like sort of uh, reputation. So, dude, literally the plot's a fucking John Wick. So it's like it in that that was when my initial thought was that Kagan, you know, but obviously we learned that that's not the case. 
But other than that, we have still have zero idea. Again, maybe there's a theory that the MC used to be a part of that organization and was taken, you know, his father maybe ran it. But again, it just, there, there's, we don't have a concrete reason. There are connections, but we don't really have a concrete reason as to like why they even made the decision to take Sayori to begin with. So, you know, I can take care of that. You have more pressing matters. Miyuki, we know, have no idea who that is. So, yeah, dude, the, the, there's, the fact that she's alive too is pretty crazy. Like, you know, none of, honestly, neither Monica nor C or nor the MC should really be alive, but, you know. It's like, yeah, you're you're brain, you have brain damage, bro. Like, you know, um, yeah, bro, you you have brain damage. Like, literally, like, you know, you should probably see a doctor. So, you know. I mean, now you're in the fucking hospital. You're not in the streets where, like, just as soon as it's it's literally like Minecraft where fucking, you know, dark comes around, you just gotta like get indoors and just hunker down for the night, bro. Like, literally any fucking, you know, apocalyptic. If this fucking organization is that much reach, like, damn, the same backgrounds always. So, and again, this is the uh, MC's POV. Woman get, dude, this fucker, I swear to God, dude. It, uh, bitch, fucking five elves? Like, you know... It's like, you're, you're breaking my back, you're breaking my back. <sighs> Uh, yeah no shit dude like because this what the fuck yeah no shit sherlock you know what wh what do you think she was worried about it's like oh uh he dies and this is a very inconvenient report for me to write up like no shit like you know damn dude hey i would have kept the fishing line bro like dude they had hollow point bro she's okay uh you know, but the the question is, where is she in the hospital, you fucking dumbass? Not, you know, where is she now? So, I'm going to be honest, I'm not reading this shit. So. So, th th three people should be in the fucking hospital right now, right? The MCC or in Monica. You know. Well, yeah, of course, yeah. Dude literally beat her to, like, a, you know, an inch of her life. Like, Dude, yeah, sit your ass down, bro. Dude, literally shut the fuck up. You ha finally have a moment of rest, bro. You're there. It, it's all good. It's all taken care of. Dude, you have like, you finally have a moment to chill out, bro. And also you are not fine. Yeah, you're fucked, bro. Like literally, dude, submit what the fuck. Yeah, dude. What do you mean it's not over? It literally is over. It is unironically fucking over. Like all three of you are on the hospital recovery. It's dealt with. It is over. Like, you know, what do you mean? It is not over. Like, it is literally, dude, she's in the hospital, bro. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Like, you know, uh, five minutes, dude, yeah. Dude, yeah, what? Actually, the more people are alive, the better, because that way, you know, you get more info about this organization. You know, it's not just like you can't just fucking, you know, go like bloodshot and just fucking kill everything. Right. You know, if they have enough bodies to throw at you, you know, they'll get you before. It's only one of you and however many of them, dude, like, you know, well, it matters that they're safe. And because you actually left survivors, you now just get info about whatever organization, you know. It's just my back and yeah, dude, he's like, oh, I, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked up. <sighs> There's no way it's a dude. She actually has like brain damage, bro. The doctor is like, they're, they're just keeping it on the down low, dude. There's no way she does not have like brain damage or something like gain just a baseball bat to the head and then fucking literally beat to like an inch of your like, there's no way she doesn't have like brain damage. And also where the fuck is Sayori? Like we know she's in the hospital. Why haven't they linked up yet? You know? I'm not going to iron read this shit. Because at the end of the day, she was the reason why they were able to find. Yeah, that's why I'm like, damn, you know, about damn time fucking, you know. It's like, oh, my back, my back. <laughs>
yeah, dude, like it's all it's it's over. Like it's you're good. Like you're fine, right? You know. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. All right, hold on. Wait, what did she say? She was gonna be saying, damn, that's crazy. Um, you know, dude, you guys should just stay in the hot, like, you know, still active. Okay, but here's the thing, because this is a problem, right? If you're if it really is this serious, like you're just fucked because you're just never gonna have peace. Like, if it's that big of a deal, then you're it's just you're done for. Like, you you just need to accept that it's over. Like You know, if it's that big of a deal to where fucking they're just going to be active 24 seven, you're just you're done for. It's over. You know, there's nothing you can do. You just give up. Right. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, just sit your ass in the hospital and don't leave. Like, if it's really that all encompassing of an organization, you just made the unfortunate decision of opposing them. That's why it's like, you know, it like again you know but on the off chance that okay the people that are left alive you know can actually you know uh shed some light on this and they can do something about it then you know you don't need to worry right but if it's literally this big of a fucking deal then there's just nothing you can do like you know like it's unironically over like Yeah, dude, fucking sleep, bro. You went, like, a whole day without sleep. Like, the MC should know. He's like, oh, I need to regulate my sleep schedule. Like, if you... I, I talked about this, right? You know, when it comes to sleep, right, obviously the ideal is eight hours. Get around eight hours, you're good. You don't really need more than that. You can, like, be fine off of eight hours. What I'll say is if you are going to be, like, active during... Like, if you're going to be active, like, if you are going to be doing shit, right... You need at least, like, at the bare minimum, six hours. Like, none of this hardo shit where it's like, oh, I don't sleep, you know, ah, uh, fucking. You, you realistically need at least six hours if you're going to be active. If you're not going to be active, you can, I'd say bare minimum, like, four. Like, to, like, function. Like, if you're going to be, like, active and doing shit, you need six to function. If you're not going to be active and, like, not really doing shit, you need bare minimum at least four to function. If you get any less than four, you're in for a rough time, right? Like, I'd say bare minimum to where, like, you're getting anything is, like, two hours. Like, if you're getting less than two hours, you're just napping. Like, you know, there's no, like, sleep to be gained from that, right? But bare minimum, if you're not going to be active, is four. And that's, like, to barely function. Bare minimum, if you're going to be active, is six. And that's, like, to barely function, right? You, you really need closer to eight. Like, people are going to be like, oh, I am uh, I don't sleep, you know, I just fucking uh, just pound coffee and energy drinks and I'm good. It's like, no, you're not. You, you know, don't fucking be a hardo and, like, ignore, like, the MC should know this with, you know, going to the academy right in the train went through. He knows that sleep is important. Like, you know, fucking, what would you call it? Um, Like, you'd think that a thing... It's just, think about it logically. We know very little about sleep other than we need it, you know, to survive, right? And to function and perform. So you'd think people would put more of an emphasis on it, right? So. No, I never really tell you this. Yeah, no shit, dude. Actually, like, you know. Yeah, these two just stop fucking around when all of a sudden shit gets serious, so. see yeah no, i figured this would be the case i mean they did that in the force right so bro imagine kagan's in the game that would be a crazy dude i just want to see kagan once more before this ends dude final checks oh my god dude i would i was gonna say dude i want dude imagine he went downstairs kagan was in there. i just want to see kagan one more time before this ends so Dude, he's gonna, like, fucking fast rope through the window and fucking kidnap Sayori, like. So is this, is this the end? Like, what's, what's next? Like, is this over? What's gonna happen next? Like, I'm, I'm genuinely curious, because, again, this is, what's that noise? Oh, my God, bro. Dude's paranoid. He's like, dude, fuck. Bro, she just went up and got breakfast, bro. Yeah, dumbass fucking, it's like, I had to pee, bro. Like, yeah, 
Dude, I was going to say, if anything happens from here on out, the MC just needs to give up. If the organization is that ruthless, relentless, and hell-bent on taking Sayori, it's just going to happen. Like, he needs to cause losses and move on. Like, if it's really that big of a thing, your deal, right? So... But I'm I'm genuinely curious, like, what else is there going to be in this route? Like, what else is going to happen? Like, again, you know, and it, this is what I mean. Like, I have I have zero idea where this model is going to go. Like, this is one where I, like, I just genuinely don't know what's going to happen. But it seems like it's wrapping up. So I just don't know, you know, and have kind of zero idea as to what's going to happen next. Like, if there is a, it seems like, damn, you know, uh, October 16th. Uh, so we actually have a day in time. Hey, damn, we're back in the club room, you know. Let's see. Welcome back. Bro, no way she doesn't have brain. I swear to God, there's zero way she doesn't have brain damage. Let's see. It's been overdue. I mean, yeah, and literally back to normal. That's why I'm like, dude, this dude can't, like, he, he was like, oh, I need her. I need to keep watch over her. Like, if, if anything was going to happen, you were just doomed to fail. Like, you know. Let's see. Also, again, it's crazy to think that because we haven't seen Yuri Natsuki forever because they were just never fucking involved in any of this stuff, right? To be fair, they that makes sense, right? But it's like, you know... Let's see. It's like, oh, uh, not that... All right. Yeah, of course he's... So it's like, what, what else is going to happen? Like, what's this going to, you know, what's going to happen next, right? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be honest, I ain't reading all this shit. Um I mean and again, so interesting. Um again, you know, because obviously the MC knew Sayori's true nature, right? But the question is, did uh, did anyone else? You know, it seems like you know at some point they found out, right? Or learned. So but I guess, you know, but obviously we know that's a uh front, right? That's the face, but yeah, like this is again, you know, for in for as much as I hate Noski or she's my least favorite, right? She has good moments and you know, you see him and she does care, you know, right? It's just, you know, once you get through all that uh all the trash, right? You you know, you reach that point, right? But again, cuz even she can see here, right? That's like, oh, some shit, you know, happened that, you know, is completely out of my uh Yeah, and again, cuz she was the one saying like, oh, if he went with her, right? So again, you know, again, because she quite likely feels guilt for that. So, yeah, it was like it was already messed up, bro. So, yo, dude, I hate how this guy. Every greeting is yo, like, as like, how do you do, fellow kids? Let's see, let's see, you three days, yeah, you know. Dude, like, all right, I'm cur I'm so curious as to what this organization is. Like, I, I'm i just, my assumption is it's the one his dad ran. But, dude, yeah, who cares what it like, dude, just is just, because at the end of the day, let's, let's put it this way. Let's say you're a random kid at school, right? You hear a rumor that one of your fucking classmates, like, did some John Wick type shit. Obviously, you're not going to believe it. You're going to be like, oh, it's a school rumor, like, some bullshit. Like, he can unironically pull, to be fair, he is weird as shit. But I would just dismiss it as school rumor. So obviously we know whatever actually happened. But, you know, this isn't like fucking Men in Black where you have to use the uh, memory wiper or whatever it's called, you know, on everyone, right? So I am genuinely curious as to like, you know, where this is going to head, right? So it's like, bro, dude. <sighs> okay, of course, that, well, fucking what? Uh, yeah, dude. Like, okay, but when did he write it? What did he write on it? Right? It's gonna be instead of Ashley. It's gonna be Sayori. Watch. Where this? Oh, this is all right. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I was complete. Where this road has brought me. The road ahead of me was paved with dirt and gravel, meandering through the bumps and gaps for my daily tribulations. But something changed along the way, and the dirt turned to grass. The rock turned to flowers. Tempted to deny this false pretense, my mind beheld. But for some reason, I didn't question it. I kept going. Clouds overhead dissipated. The sun shone down on me once more. Feels as if it was forever since I last saw it, but the road has stopped it. As I approached, I saw a true, true embodiment of everything I was missing as a person. The closer I got, the more scared I became, but the better I felt. Santa patched grass, smiling at the world. 
She saw me. I saw her. It all changed. She stepped turning away in his coffee and like my past, she took my hands into hers and made the road. Jesus Christ. The road had worth a road worth traveling. She's by my side now, walking the same road. Things I know this way, I'll never know. One thing I do know is where this road brought me. And one thing I will say that's good about this mod, you genuinely take, like, because the MC and Seoria, and this is partially why I went Seoria's route. Obviously, when they first met, it's like, all right, just two random fucking people that are just complete opposites, you know, that just so happen to bump into each other. And then again, it turns into them actually like literally ride or die, you know, type uh, stuff. So that I will give the mod for as like interesting as the plot is. I will say it did enable that uh, again pretty well. Right. So. He's like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I had AI do that. So. It's like, he's like, no, you know, you're going on your own. Dude, man, that'd be crazy. She, get, Dude, I just want to see fucking Kayden one more time before this happens. I just want to see Kayden one more time. That's all I want. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, literally got nothing else to do. Like, let's see. Small manail envelope, bro. What's in the fucking envelope? Like, also, brunette, dude, I'm probably an idiot. Julia is probably fucking Psyonica's model. So, people who are detailed and killed. So, dude, I swear to God. Okay, what is the fucking, you know, outlier, right? So, Jesus Christ. Uh, dude, race. Dude, they weren't a fucking, uh, you know. Dude, they, they were a freaking mixed race. Uh, dude, what would be fucking... Dude, I swear to God, if Kagan is somehow behind all this, so... Let's see. Bro, fucking they they use the fucking uh emoji. Bro, it just fucking walks in. All right, so Yeah, you know, it, dude, honestly, this can just get coughed up to school rumor. I would not be worried about like the kids at school knowing. Like only really the club. Uh Bro, dude drinks faucet water. That's how you know he's hard. Let's see. Bro, dude, I swear to God, imagine. Dude, there's no fucking way. There is no fucking way. Shut the fuck up. There's no way. You're not going to fucking, you know. You're not going to. You're not going to. Dude. Dude, this is. I fucking. You're fucking Kagan, bro, dude. I, dude, I, dude, fucking honestly, bro, honestly, I'm not even mad at it. So, why the fuck does the MC look like L from fucking Death Note? Anyway, dude, fucking Kagan, bro. I knew he was behind it the whole time, dude. I'm, I, here's what I was gonna say. Honestly, dude, as soon as I heard, like, oh, yeah, I just bribed the fucking bullies, uh, you know, to, I was like, all right, Kagan, that's a crazy fucking play. But chances are he's not involved in this thing. But as, again, the MC's like, oh, yeah, there's zero denomination when it comes to all these dudes. It's like, all right, bro, Kagan, he's back on this. Uh, dude, this is fucking, or, this is, dude, this is fucking crazy. Kagan, oh, my. Hey, I said, I just want to see this dude one more time before the mods end, bro. I'm, I'm so fucking glad we're, dude. Finally, Jesus Christ, he takes so long to say, yeah, he's like, dude, damn, I've been sitting here for like two hours, bro, like, I'm, sorry, what is he to you now? Dude, I, dude, I was like, this is so fucking crazy, bro, dude. Uh, oh, come on, dude, Kagan, best, dude, Kagan rivals fucking Jesus Christ, what's, what's the dude's name from the festival? I forgot, the, what, dude, I, I, Jesus Christ, Wallace, dude, Kagan rivals fucking Wallace in terms of like, like side character like relevance in these games dude this is actually fucking crazy bro dude like he was under a lot of stress he's like dude i hired fucking i took you know i hired 12 guys to get the job done and they couldn't do it like i just gotta do this shit myself dude this is so fucking crazy bro dude kagan rivals wallace in terms of like legendary side character status like nine mail me a handgun bro imagine that shit like fucking He's like, I got the hollow point. She ain't surviving this. You know, I do. If you hurt, I swear to God, I'll make you suffer a fate worse than death. 
you know, yeah, it's like, bro, like, well, we know that MC literally has a gun too, but obviously, you know, he's not going to be able to fucking draw, dude, like no, no knock to the person who drew this, but I think it's kind of funnier that it's like kind of a lower quality drawing, but like, honestly, like I, I just, dude, I fucking hate the angle more than anything. Why do they do these weird ass angles with these fucking, you know, pieces? Like it's literally like diagonal, like. I want you to stay back against the wall right there. At least fucking Kagan. Honestly, if Kagan were smart, he'd literally just fucking shoot the MC right now. Like, what the fuck is Kagan trying to gain out of this, bro? Like, well, obviously we know it's Sayori, but what's the point of like, I mean, I guess the whole point is he's luring the MC here because obviously he's not going to go fucking break into the MC's house and try to shoot him. I mean, we know fucking the people who failed to do that that he hired, right? Um, honestly, if Kagan were smart, he'd literally just shoot the MC right now. I mean, all he needs to do is, like, literally just fucking, he's got Sayori, right? Literally just move the gun forward and then just shoot the MC. Like, that's all he needs to do. If he fucks this up, then he's a, like, he's an idiot. Like, doesn't it, dude, what the fuck? This guy's analyzing. Doesn't look like he has a modified trigger. So I can figure out, I can determine the, shut the fuck up, bro, dude. The, like, listen, I hate to say it, no matter how hard the MC is, he's in a situation where he can do nothing. Like, unironically, again, if Kagan really is about that, you know, either he'd just fucking shoot the MC now, or if the MC does anything, he'd shoot Sayori. Like, if Kagan really is about that, like, there is just nothing the MC can do. Like, any sort of, the MC beating Kagan is just due to Kagan's own flaw at this point, right? He's got the MC in checkmate if he really wanted to. So, yeah, dude, that's why I'm like, bro, like, the MC can really do nothing at this point in time. Like, the question is what Kagan wants out of Sayori, and then potentially he can do something based off that. So, yeah, dude, fucking, you know. So you're just setting yourself up for failure. See, one, what? Yeah, dude, that's why it's like, bro, dude, K this is so fucking crazy, because... Like, think about it this way. Like, dude, this all stemmed, literally this all fucking stemmed from the MC catching Sayori. So the craziest fucking thing is Kagan, because here's the issue. Kagan seemingly only hired those guys to kill the MC. Like, it seemed like literally, dude, this is like, honestly, I'm like, it's so crazy because Kagan seemingly only hired those guys to kill the MC. Like, seemingly all he wanted was obviously Sayori, right? You know, the MC gets in the way, you know, in the only reason he, MC even knows of his existence and kind of their beef is literally him catching and peeping on. Her. So if he just never caught Kagan peeping on her, right? Sayori would get bullied by whoever, right? You know, maybe the MC swoops in before, but Kagan would honestly swoop in. Granted, that may not necessarily change things. Granted, given that Kagan's really about this, chances are the MC would need to die anyway. Or, you know, again, like, would have to get killed. But it's like, the, the only reason why he sent the men after him was seemingly in kidnap Sayori was because the MC caught him. Because otherwise, he could have just, like, let's say, simply poisoned the MC, again, or something less conspicuous right you know versus sending armed men at him which is the only way that you know they were able to arrive at this situation now so yeah if you had not shown it that's why i'm like again literally like all of this stemmed from him just catch because kagan wasn't even like staking in because the and this is kind of what i was getting at kagan was not staking out sayori's house so that the men could kidnap her like he was just doing it because he was a fucking peeping tom right? His plan was to swoop in with the bullies and be the savior of Sayori, right? It just, it was literally only because the MC caught him that he, like, resorted to, all right, the MC needs to, like, get moved. He needs to be dealt with, and he hired the killers. Because if the MC never caught Kagan and Sayori still went for the MC, he could have probably just, like, poisoned the MC or something. Unironically, like, that, you know, and then MC dies and Kagan comforts Sayori in her time of turmoil, you know, is the savior again. You know, for the reason all this happened. But it shouldn't be around. She's sweet, caring, and trusting. You're the eyes of the killer. Dude, I mean, to be fair, Kagan in this situation, he can't really speak. Like, you know, he's shown he's the same as the MC. Like, if he's really about this, right? You know. 
Yeah, dude, that's again, it's literally only because he was peeping. Like, he's like, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, you know, I'm behind everything. He's like, yeah, it's all me. Like, you know, yeah, you know, it's. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you know, okay, but also to be fair, like the the crazy part is Kagan, like he has to know what the MC has done in his past, right? At least given, you know, the people he hired, right? You know, again, it's something to where it's like, so he knows, like, yeah, this this motherfucker, he's like real. Like, I'm not messing with him, you know. How many people have you killed? Twelve, you know? Yeah, he's like, Yeah, I'm literally behind everything, bro. Dude, how the fuck did the MC not make that connection? Like, I as soon as he walks in, CK with the like, all right, dude, Kagan's literally behind everything. So, but also, okay, yeah, you know, but also, it's like to be fair, Kagan literally set that up. So he's like, that should have been me. So now you're cashing on. So, but then that's my question: Where the fuck was Kagan the whole time then? Like, because he was, you know, I guess he was poised. So. This is some crazy, this is actually crazy fucking plays on the part of Kagan. Because he hired kidnappers to kidnap Sayori with the intention of basically double-crossing and betraying them, right? And being kind of the same, which, again, because the one thing we didn't know is why Sayori specifically, and that, again, this explains it. But if he his plan was literally to, because my assumption was, all right, he only involved the kidnappers because the MC caught him. But if that was the plan regardless, that is, like, again, crazy level plays. So, shut up, Sayori. It's like, shut the fuck up, you know? Yeah, he's like, oh, please, oh, please, Mr. Guffman, please don't hurt my girlfriend. Oh, please, oh, please. Uh, dude, oh, my God, you know, you think I'm joking? You know, again... This is why it's like, I don't know why Kagan just doesn't fucking point the gun to the MC and shoot her. Like, if Kagan was real, like, he would literally just shoot the MC. And if the MC did anything, he would shoot Sayori. Like, Kagan is full control in this situation. But we know he's not going to do anything, you know, just for the sake of the MC saving Sayori. But again, because it raised the question of, again, why the fuck is Kagan even doing this? Like, the only point is so that he can lure the MC in and kill him. So if you really just want to, just fucking point the gun at the MC and then shoot him. Like, unironically, there's nothing the MC can do about that in that situation. So, and again, like, he's trying to, I guess, get the MC to beg, but it's not going to mean, like, shit. Really, you know, you know, in the small of my back. Dude, you got to be fucking crazy, bro. We really actually have a choice here. Here's the thing, right? The question is, this is my issue. This is my problem, right? If Kagan was real, he would have shot either the MC or Sayori by now. Like, one of the two would be dead. So the pr here's the thing. If he was real, he would have shot either the MC or Sayori. So since he hasn't, chances are by complying with him, he's not going to do shit. Because if he had done something, he would have done it already. Our worry is going for the handgun would kind of trigger him to do that, right? I mean, the fact that he hasn't done anything thus far, the question is whether the gun's for show, right? Because if he just wants to get something out of us, we can do that, right? But again, the question is, do we turn that gun from show to actually, you know, uh, use, right? And then he either, by doing this, we may... Uh, we may fucking, what would you call it? You know, initiate that transition. But if he hasn't done anything with it now, chances are he just has it for show. So just fucking comply with him, right? You know, chances are what's going to happen is we're going to apply and he's just going to shoot Sayori and I'm going to be wrong. But like, if Kagan was real, he would have just shot either the MC or Sayori by this point. So since we assume he's not, we're just going to comply. So. Because like, if he just wants a ruse out of the MC then like he's getting it right but again the like what's the end game here because he lets go see or like again it, it's just so confusing because like if he was real he would have just shot the mc already right that's what i do if i was a king in situation i'm like all right i got his girl he's in here he can't do shit just fucking point the gun at him and shoot right you know but since he has it the question is what's he's trying to get out of this if he doesn't want to shoot and kill either the mc or say or you know again what was he want out of this right Again, if he hasn't used it, chances are it's for show. And 
again, by simply going for the handgun, we would turn it from show to use. So. Why the fuck is the screen game black? Oh, do we pick the bad ending, bro? Bro, that's why I'm like, why the fuck did he not do this? All right, bam, we died. Rip. Godspeed, bro. But my question, because, uh, okay, what the fuck is going, oh my god, because I was so confused, I'm like, if Kagan was just going to shoot us, why the fuck didn't he do that to begin with? Like, literally, as soon as the MC walks in the room, fucking, I'd be like, stop right where you are. The MC freezes, fucking point the gun at him, shoot him. Like, you know, I guess pride, he wants the MC to beg for his life, but it's like, I mean, fucking, if he's dead anyway, does that shit really matter? You know? Again, my worry was if we were to go, and it seems like we actually did make the right choice. If his gun was for show, and we go for our firearm, it goes from show to use, and he just blows see where his brains out, right? So. Bro, what the fuck is going on? <sighs> Bro, just shove his ass out the window, bro. Fucking push him out the window. Dude. Dude, I still, dude, bro, Kagan really fucking died over this shit, bro. Dude, dude, the MC is not fucking fine, bro. Go to the hospital. Like, yeah, literally fucking, you know, yeah, don't fucking remove that shit, bro. Fucking leave it, dog. Like, all right, is this the end? So, again, we did confirm it was Kagan, you know, dude, what the fuck is this, like, Dude, what is this, like, fucking message, bro? This, dude, this is, like, a fucking, you know, message, like, at the end of a story where it's, like, oh, you know, dude, what is this lesson that we're being taught, bro? What the fuck is this, bro? Is this the actual end of the fuck? You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, yeah, no shit, dude. Fucking Kagan, bro. Dude, dude, that is, uh, that's still fucking crazy. How, I'm curious, dude, Kagan's gotta be smart as shit. How the fuck did he get like a dozen people who seemingly have zero connection to each other to actually all go after like the MC and his girl? Like that's so fucking crazy, bro. Like I'm not reading this shit, dog. So dude, the MC, dude, the fucking dude, I swear he, it has not been, you know. There has not been a single fucking part that has gone wide where something weird wasn't mentioned, bro. Like, every single fucking part, it's something weird. Something underwear, like lingerie, like, something, like, sensual. Like, we have not gone a single fucking part without that. So, there's no, dude, that's why I'm like, dude, I'm like, just... uh, also, I was gonna say, that's actually pretty fucking funny, though, on the part of the... I'm not even gonna lie, that was pretty fucking funny. So, it's Jover. Dude, imagine Kagan, like, comes back from the dead, bro. Alright, so is it is it over now? I'm, I'm genuinely curious, because, like, I don't know where this is gonna fucking go. Alright, 20, what's that, four days later? I don't remember, I wasn't keeping track. It's getting close. Give me a damn second, woman. Bro, therapy, damn, that's crazy, so... I'm going to be honest. Hey, W fucking picture, bro. Glad we got this picture. Yeah, hey, good picture, bro. Good. 
bro, Kagan, dude, fucking, dude, legendary character, dude, he's on the level of fucking Wallace, bro, dude's on the level of Wallace for, like, legendary site, I'm not reading this shit, bro. Hey, that, dude, fucking, what is this lesson being taught, bro, dude, what is this fucking lesson being taught, bro, dude, from this, like, dude, they're trying to be, like, dude, just my, dude, American Eagle, what the fuck, bro, give these names, bro, Brand. Dude, I was gonna say you you're teaching us a lesson as if this story is relatable, bro. This story is not fucking relatable. I'm not fucking like involved in some spy organization. Like, I am not saving people from abductions. That is not my lifestyle. I like the change in background. That's really cool. But again, the the curious part now is all right, there's no way every other like each route has to be individual. There's no way every route is going to take this angle, which or direction, which I am, what I will say is I'm very curious about because let's put it this way, regardless of the route, you know, the MC still has this backstory. So my kind of interesting question is there's no way every route is going to follow this story, but the MC still has the same background. So the question is, how is that going to be applied differently across the routes? Dude, bitch, what? Oh, those must be websites. I was like, what the fuck? I, I do like the change of background, though. That's pretty cool. But, again, you know, fucking, what would you call it? Um, I will say, though, like, I, I very interesting, probably most interesting fucking story being told in a DDLC mod. Like, the the only, damn, freaking, you know, uh, 2018, bro. Dude, this mod took 2018 by storm. Probably because, fucking, it was the most, like, crack shit, like, mod. In, and I'm playing it fucking five years later. Like, the most crack shit mod of, like, the year. Where it's like, all right, dude, like the MC is fucking like literally like a spy, you know. I I just think that really the crazy thing is like, I'm I'm just genuinely curious what these art routes are gonna look like, like because it's the same backstory on the part of the MC, you know. Also, in because it's the same backstory on part the part of the MC, but there's no way it's the same story. And I think I have an explanation for Sionica. Chances are Sionica is going to be involved with Monica's route. I feel like that's pretty obvious. Um, honestly, because realist, there were only three choices the whole game. Why did I? Why do I have this? Oh yeah, because I'm fucking. This is stupid. So there's only three choices the whole game, and they're seemingly to put you on whoever's route, right? At least when it came to Seawars, right? But chances are it's the same for every route. So honestly, I'm just gonna begin again, you know, until. In the next part, of course, I'm going to begin again until, you know, we reach another person's, um, which is going to be Monica's next, right? We did say it was first and got the whole spy venture. But again, there's no way that, you know, each route follows the same story. And I'm genuinely curious how they're going to tell a different story with the same background that the MC has. But besides that, I don't really have anything else to say for this one. So, yep. So for this one, see you in the next one.